What's going on guys, No Guides here, welcome back to another video. Now today's video we've got a live commentary, how to play like an elite player in the mind of an elite player. Um, I've got the eye track on the screen, so a little blob as you can see that it moves about, that is my eye movement. We're going to be playing the 4 one 2 one 2 second variation, as I mentioned in one of my videos. If you haven't seen a tactics video for that, the 4 one 2 one 2 second variation is on my channel as well. I also have the controller on the screen, so you know what I'm pressing. I'm gonna walk you through the game. Now I'm playing the game at a pretty pretty rotten time. The servers are a bit abysmal at the moment. But I think that I should give you a good example of, you know, that we all suffer the gameplay. It's all about trying to get the best possible gameplay. And this will give you a good example. Uh, and obviously people are using the internet in my house, so it isn't really the best, but I think it'll be a good example of how to overcome what you need to do. Um, first of all, we're gonna start with a 4 one second variation. Of course, it is still kickoff, so you're gonna be pretty conservative. But we're still going to, even though you have sent a mids in a 4 one 2 one 2 those 1-2s are still really, really effective. And of course, if you want, you can use a player lock feature. Um, but the benefit of the 4 one 2 one 2 second variation is that you have the three center mids and you also have midfield control. Uh, because you've got your two strikers and your cams available as well. I'm just going to defend with our CDM over here. As you can see, I just ran into the ball. I'm going to do a quick 1-2, wait for that player to make an overlap. I'm going to do a through ball like so. Quick one, two backwards again. Remember, there's never movement in midfield. Always do just quick one, two backwards. See Fred with the ball over there. And that's not where I wanted the ball to go. Got very lucky there. And that fake shot, and that should be a goal. Um, yeah, very lucky uh, that that pass should not even gone that direction. Again, we're going to hold the line. Not be too aggressive. We're going to run back here with our striker. Got the ball back. Okay, nice. So we see Mbappe over there. We're going to do a through ball to Mbappe like so. And now Mbappe's got no one with him. So we're going to do a quick 1-2 to our right back. That way Mbappe makes that run going forward. And we have the outlet to play the ball. Uh, just a bit too much uh, for Mbappe. A bit too much power. I'm going to man mark his centre back. I'm going to move our centre mid out of position now. To man mark this area over here. I'm going to run back with Fred. Again we're not going to push the ball. We're going to defend the defence areas first. Press our left centre mid a little bit. Again not being too aggressive. Now he's beating us. We're going to run back our left centre mid. We're going to run inside. Centre back's going to be careful. And um, probably, probably would have been a bad goal, but I think he deserved that goal if it did go in anyway. But that was a deflection. Quick, quick counter, quick one, two backwards. We're going to play a driven through ball over here like so. Good defending from Jordi Alba. Now what we're going to do is we're going to, we, we see now there's a striker, Jesus, in behind our strike. The Jesus is our main danger man. You could basically leave Royce as long as Jesus is man marked. Like see like over here, watch Jesus, he's the main danger man. And as you can see, the ball was passed to Jesus only. And um, that's the kind of the approach you got to take when you're defending. You got to look at the striker. I deliberately did that, I deliberately didn't chase Jesus because I wanted to explain to you that the most important thing is defending the main danger area. So if it's not like here, that's Jesus. Now, the, now I know there's no other strikers. Kimmich, I don't care, let him have the ball. Uh, but obviously Royce, the main danger man, you know he's right footed, he has to turn around soon. Good ball interception by Cancelo. Quick one, two back again. We're going to wait for Mbappe to make that run and we're going to do a through ball. L1 trigger to Mbappe, so makes that run going forward. We see Fred coming in. We're going to do a ball all the way into the middle. Quick one, two. Ball with Neymar, do a fake shot into the space, create the angle and take a shot. And that is 2-0. Two very, very simple, but two very, very easy goals. Um, again, it's just more about pressure. Quick one, two backwards again. Passing go. And again, when I'm when I'm passing out the back, I'm being very safe. You see, when I'm making a pass out the back, I'm actually facing the player. But when I'm in a final third, I do these no-look passes. I take the risk. But you should never do it when you're in your own half. Again, going to run to where the ball is going to be, not where the ball is. So he needs to face me one-on-one. -on -one, so I need to run and jockey like so. And I'm able to push out when I need to. Quick one, two again. So for example, like Kem in a final third, an L1 triangle. Well, that was meant to be to him, but... So we're just going to do a ball all the way from the danger area here. And we're going to go back all the way uh, to our right back. Quick one, two again. Nice chaining. Nice with Fred. Fake shot stop. Got a bit lucky there. I was going to move away from goal. Ball all the way, like so. And we see Mbappe. We see Promes as well on the edge of the screen. So we're going to hold the ball outside his box. Um, just wait for that opening as you can see like so and then we're going to do a fake shot good play from my opponent over there We're not going to be aggressive with our left back because now we're getting counter-attacks. So we're going to just be passive Going to keep running back though again not going to be aggressive We must turn inside. Okay, good hold our line not going to if in doubt remember I said Kimmich He can't shoot to save his life. So he's going to pass the ball away going to do a fake shot stop or cut back we're Going to stop the cross from coming in like so 
Again, he's using the running jockey like so. I'm going to wait for the wait for the pass. Jordi Alba, you can't shoot. He's going to have to cross. So what I'm doing basically is I'm always blocking the angle towards goal. You see, I'm not being I'm not being aggressive. I'm just using the L1 switch and I'm blocking the angle out towards goal. You see, and that was a very very unfortunate goal. Those things happened though. You know, he deserved that goal after I got the BS goal I got in the first one. Um, but those things, you know, you just can't defend. You know, it's just very very unlucky. Uh, very un unfortunate deflection, should I say? Kick off, quick one two. The usual. Um, I don't send my left back going forward because if you bring a left back going forward, it's very risky. Here we're getting pressed. We're going to lob the ball to the other side. Bring the ball in. Do a quick one too. So Fred makes that run going forward. Do a driven pass to make a quick pass going forward. Again, we're going to play these passes pretty safe because we're playing out the back now. Um, you don't want to be doing no look passes when you're playing out the back because it's very, very risky. We see Promes making that run. Uh, quick one two down towards the middle. Again, going to be again passive again, run, going to run back into the space. And we've got the ball back. Pass normally. And we're going to do a driven pass to Fred because we see him on the radar. Do a quick pass forward, quick one, two. And as you can see, because you've got the three strike, the, you can kind of got the three strike instead of fake shot stop, fake shot stop again. Outside, inside, fake shot stop again one more time. Just trying to buy time. That was a bad pass. But as you can see, because you've got the two strikers and you've got that cam, it makes it easy for you to to counter your opponent very easily. We've got one CDM left now. The key thing is be passive, you know. There's no need to run out, you know. He has to pass the ball to Jesus, remember. And as you can see, he passed the ball to Jesus. You see, there's no need to run forward. Um, made a mistake there. Big one, though. Changed to the wrong player. That was a bit of player switching error. Through ball, because you want... Well, I was a bit unlucky there. I'm going to use running jockey. Close it inside area, because that's where Royce is. Not going to push towards Adama. Not going to push. Push him away from the line. See that? We're going to push him down the line. That's fine. And then we're going to run in jockey when we have a chance to get the ball. As you can see, you know, FIFA is honestly is very, very basic. You know, you just need small things. When you're defending, you just need the run in jockey and L1 switches. You can use right stick switching as well. But FIFA, honestly, is a very basic thing. I think people, they try to overcomplicate FIFA by trying, FIFA by trying to implement um, a thousand different things. The key thing is just keeping things very simple, very systematic. Of course, we're winning right now. If, if I was playing more serious, I'd probably change to a more defensive formation. But just to keep things simple, I'm going to stay with a 4 one 2 2 second variation. Again, Cancel is a right back. Don't want to go forward with him. Driven pass upwards. We see Neymar. Going to do a quick 1-2 like so. Made a big mistake there. Going to do a lofted pass into the space. And that was a good tackle from Mr. Sergio Ramos. Not going to press too much. Going to use our cam. Not going to use our centre mids. Going to lead them out of position. Use our cam first to defend. Going to run back like so. Push him away. Going to press him now a little bit. Now we're going to change to our CDM, man mark Jesus. Change to Fred, man mark Royce, because I know he's going to pass the ball to the middle. I know Jesus is going to get the ball eventually. And as you can see, I basically baited him there. Okay, it's a free kick, so we're going to break our wall apart. So we're going to flick to the players in the wall. We're going to break the wall apart. I'm just going to move the goalkeeper just a tad bit over, and we're going to break the wall apart. And we're going to put a man on the line, press triangle so the wall jumps as well. And that player should have to head the ball away if it does. So we broke the wall up. That way I can stop any players from doing quick one-twos if he does decide to pass the ball. And I also put the player on the line so if Royce decides to do a free kick, the only way you'll score if it will go top bins. Again, that's Cancelo. Don't want to go forward with him. L1 trigger there. And we see Promes on, on the opposite side. That's the benefit of the 4 one 2 one 2 Going to wait for Promes to make the overlapping run. Through ball. See Neymar, fake shot downwards into the space and take a shot towards goal. Again, you know, you might think just because I have Neymar and Bappe, I'm doing this. But if you think about it, any player can do this. A simple fake shot or scoop, anyone, well, scoop five-star skill move. But anyone can do a fake shot. A fake shot would have been fine there. Keep it simple, keep it basic. There's no need to over-exaggerate. Run and jockey again into him. See, run and jockey. I mean, I just use run and jockey. Look, I'm not even pressing the tackle button. I'm not pressing contain. I'm not using teammate contain. I'm not even pressing the tackle button. Literally just using the run and jockey running into my opponent. Again, being conservative. I see Jesus. Uh, he wants to pass the ball to Jesus, right? So then, intercept it. See, I block the pass to Jesus. I'm not worrying about Royce. See, I'm completely neglecting the person on the ball. I'm like, okay, you have the ball on your feet. I don't care. The most important thing is defending the striker. Because think about this. Just remember, who's your opponent going to pass to? The striker, right? We see Mbappe just outside a box there. It's going to pass the ball to Mbappe. Ben Lucky, so we're going to run back with Fred over here because he's our centre mid. We're going to change to Neymar and run back. We're going to now change to Promise. That way we don't bring our left back out of position, you see. We use our centre mid to double up. Now we can double up on Adama. You see that? And that is one of the key benefits you're defending. You know, try to choose an attacking player first. Lofted pass should go through there. And then we're going to do a fake shot stop back to Neymar outside the box. Good defending from my opponent. Um, as you can see, left stick dribbling has been nerfed heavily. Going to use our left back and run into the space. 
prevent that the through ball. Gonna run back now at Fred again. Not gonna touch our back four. We're just gonna run back with Fred. Gonna run back, run back, run back, run back, and just run into him. You see that? Simple. Nothing extravagant. Just run back into him. Bad pass there from my fault. That's my fault. The pass didn't go through. Why? Because I didn't face the player again. Jesus, the main danger man. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna see Royce there again. Royce is right footed, so we're gonna push him on his left foot and force him to take a touch on his right foot, and that way we've got the ball. And a quick one two, do a through ball. Got lucky there. Gonna again change to Zoko. Man mark Royce over there. Gonna man mark Jesus. Now we're gonna run back all the way here. Change to Fred now. Gonna man mark. Again, not gonna be not gonna overlap. Gonna hold my line, hold my line, I'm holding my line. I'm not being aggressive. No need to be aggressive. Got to be defensive. He's overlapping me. I'm getting out numbered here. Don't want to, you don't want to press, you know, when you're getting outnumbered, just hold your line, defend the goal. You see, I'm defending the goal. I'm like, okay, you what? Come to me. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying, come at me. I'm like, you have to beat me. I'm not running towards him. I'm not making the, the newbie mistake that a lot of players, I would say, even in gold tier, is they decide to run out with their center backs. Now, I'm not really much of a crosser, so I always like to pass the, pass the ball outside the box. But if you want to cross the ball, of course, you can get the ball to um, Neymar's feet. Go and do a right flick, stick, stick, switch, switch, flick, should I say, fake shot, fake shot, stop. Leftward, inwards, um, go back around. Uh, we're going to, might do some skill moves now just to make, to spice things up a little bit. We're going to do um, the fake um, McGeady spin. That was the wrong thing, I pressed the wrong button there. Gonna run back with Promes now. Gonna run back with my left back to so prevent the through ball from going down the wing. Gonna run back with Fred now. Slight tackle there because you can get the ball. Switch to Suzoko. We're not gonna use our centre back there. Again, we see Royce now. Royce is a danger man. Let him go. Let him go now. Switch to him when I need to. And as you can see, I knew that Jesus had a three star weak foot. So I let him on his left foot there. I knew the chance of him scoring there was basically, you know, one in maybe 10 chance. So he couldn't score that again. Run back. Jesus, he's running forward now. So you have to be a bit aggressive there. We couldn't choose our CDM there because he was too far away. Again, a very sloppy pass again for me. I'm not I'm not facing the player, then making a pass. Gonna do a slide tackle there to block the shot and block the angle. So that slide tackle did two things. It blocked the angle and it blocked the shot. I'm gonna run back here. I'm gonna run back now inside. We're gonna change to our player. We're gonna man mark Jesus now because he wants to pass the ball to Jesus. Man marking Jesus, saying Royce come at me. And of course Royce is right footed, so we just used the running jockey and we let him run into me. Quick one, two, we see the pass. I'm going to do a creative run. I'm going to go on the outside, driven through ball request. We see Neymar. We're going to do a fake shot stop. We see Neymar going inside the box. We're going to do a fake shot away from the player like so. One more away. Uh, good tackle from in the end by Kimmich. Again, I'm going to run back. Suzoka, run back. Run back with our left back now. Suzoka, now we're going to be a bit aggressive because we've got a chance to be so. And we get the ball like so. We're going to slide tackle there to prevent the slide. The entrance going to man mark that pass. Switch to our CDM, man mark the striker now. Which is a Zoko, man mark Royce. Again, Royce is making a run going forward, so we're going to let Jesus go. And then we're going to switch to him when there's a chance to win the ball again. It's all about positioning. Positioning is a. This is why I use fullbacks and centre back as well, because positioning is the most important thing. And if you can. You don't think about, okay, the fixture around the goalkeeper should be a goal. Um, if you could if you could think about. Okay, that, that was a bad. I, I took a, did a fake shot too far away, I did it almost behind me, so I deserve to miss that. Um, if you can position your players correctly, you're fine. Again, run back. I'm going to apply a bit of pressure here to Royce. A um, bit of pressure now we can apply to Kimmich. Now we see we're in trouble. We're going to run back with Suzoko. Run a jockey. Change to Royce. Block the center out. You see that? I'm blocking him out. Not letting him go his right foot. Adama stopping a cross from coming in. Man marking, occupying the, the key danger area. Like so. And I think that's the end of the game. We're going to do a quick cheeky uh, driven pass. Now we're going to try to finish on a spectacular. Fake shot upwards to get the ball away from him. Fake shot stop. McGeady spin. A oh, good read from my opponent. Um, that, but anyway, that's just an example of you know how a player on the t on I would say a Division One on the elite player will play. We don't overcomplicate things. We keep things very very basic. The key thing is knowing what you're doing in positioning. You know you could have the best players. You have the likes of Hullets, but you know if you're running out with Hullet, or if you have for example Maldini in centre back and you run out with your centre back, you're never ever ever gonna win because you run out with your centre back, you're in trouble. I mean go through actually some of these situations right now. Actually let's have a look. Let's have a look now. We're gonna move the controller now, and we'll go through some of the goals. So the first goal. Um, again, I got very, very lucky with that deflection over there. But we still had to do, we had to do a really nice first time fake shot. So that means our first touch was behind my opponent, again, outsmarting him. So facing one way, then we change one way again. And we can't show the replay because the first replay is a glitch. But as you can see, um, facing out, outway, then I fake shot that way. I, I trick him. So he thinks I'm going that way over commits. With a five star weak foot, you can go on either foot, then belly, of course. Anyone can buy him. Um, this chance we had, this example that I was showing you. 
Um, I thought I defended against this pretty well, to be honest. I gave him a bad angle. You know, the chances of him, the ball going through my feet is very, very unlucky. Um, but I knew at that angle he probably wasn't going to score anyway. So if he did score, um, you have to just put that down as one of those very, very unlucky goals. But as you can see, Regalon, what did I do? I blocked the angle towards goal. You see, I'm not running towards the ball. I'm almost running to kind of block the angle. That makes sense? And let's have a look at Neymar's goal over here. So that was a quick, um, again, he ran out with a centre back. And a simple uh, fake shot around the goalkeeper. I saw him commit forward. You should, you would see from a skill shot video. Um, fake shot around a goalkeeper, the most effective way of scoring. This De Jong goal, again, is nothing where you can really do. I defended against this well. I blocked my body to prevent the cross from coming in as best as I can. Uh, he did a very nice cross, a whipped cross around the player. I decided to clear the ball out. Unfortunately, Cancela heads it back like that. And I don't know what that is. That is... um. A very nice animation I'm um, implemented by uh, Mr. Regalon. Um, I can't imagine what, what game he's playing, uh, but it's definitely not football. Um, and then this is the goal uh, to keep it 3 1 again. Cut inside, fake shot away into the space and create a goal. But again, it's simple. How did I do this? I might explain this to you when I go back and watch this goal. Very, very simple here. Then L1 trigger, sent this player on a run going forward. Now when I know he's going forward, he's also going to drag this defender away with him when I go forward. And that will in turn create more space for Neymar over there. So he gets the ball like so. Neymar makes the run. Remember I did a 1-2 with Neymar, so Neymar makes the run back inside after. I just turn back, make a pass. Now I could have taken a shot here, but realistically it's not a 45 degree angle. Um, and if I try to take it to the left hand side, he could have very much defended that very clearly. So the best thing for me to do is do a fake shot that way to create the angle and then go the opposite way. And that is basically how I scored. So again, he defended that very well. He held his ground, but the fake shot was enough to give me the space around and for Neymar to score. And virtually even Dembele would have scored. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Take it easy and I'll catch you next time. Peace out. If you do like this video, uh, don't forget, of course, to like and subscribe. And don't forget to watch my crazy runs video and my 4 on 2 on the second variation video if you're wondering about what formation I used and what I did in the game.